Hello everyone, today I'm going to go through what it is to record in a sequencer slash DAW. What is a DAW? A DAW is an acronym for Digital Audio Workstation. You'll need a computer, music sequencing software, an audio interface and a MIDI controller. In the olden days, music was recorded onto a multi-track tape recorder and was very expensive. There is a multitude of different software out there. The most popular professional ones are Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase and Ableton. There are some free ones like GarageBand, Audacity, Cakewalk and Darkwave. I use Logic and have done for many years. All software packages throw in a number of soft synths to allow you to create parts. They tend to cover basic orchestral instruments as well as drum machines and clones of both hardware analog and digital bass synthesizers. A soft synth is a digital instrument. As well as soft synths being available to sculpt your sound, there are a range of effects that you can add to enhance your parts, like reverb, delays, compressors, distortion, phasers and EQ. These all come under the umbrella known as plugins. I'll talk more about those later. Most doors are laid out in the same way. The large area in the middle here is called the timeline. Here is where you piece together all the musical parts you create. Once recorded into the door, they can be moved around, copied and pasted, muted and deleted. The timeline is fixed to a predetermined tempo and time signature. The tempo can easily be sped up or slowed down. On the left hand side is your track and channel list. The mix review looks like this like channels on a mixing desk, with access to inserts, auxiliary inputs and effects. I'll cover those in the next video. Now what is MIDI? MIDI is an acronym for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It's the protocol used for communicating information to and from your keyboard to your DAW. One single MIDI cable has 16 channels that you can assign to separate musical devices or soft synths. It is also used to send MIDI controller messages that can automate volume, note velocity, pans and every parameter in your chosen effect plugin. To allow us to hear the result of any MIDI information on our timeline, we need to connect the audio interface to the computer. Doing this also means we can record audio in real time. By that I mean your guitar, piano, cello, kazoo, your ante, a drum kit or your voice. With the MIDI controller plugged into our computer, I can now choose a digital instrument and begin to make a beat. To do that in Logic, I select New Software Instrument Track. I've set up a drum kit with a different sound in each key. Each of these keys are assigned a MIDI note. For example, C1 is the kick drum, D1 is a snare. So the tempo and time signature are set. I used a metronome or click to keep me in time and looped four bars while I made the beat. Using the piano roll you can see these colourful little blocks to illustrate where on the timeline I played them. They contain information about the length and velocity of each note I mentioned earlier. As we're using percussive sounds with little or no sustain, the note lengths are short. Quantizing is a tool that eliminates operator error. In other words, if I program a lazy snare, kick or hi-hat, I can use the quantize facility to put it in time. Each note can be quantized to the nearest quarter, eighth, sixteenth and so on, until your drum track sounds the way you want it to. However, quantizing each part you record into your DAW will inevitably make it very machine-like. So experiment with the feel of how you hear each part in relation to the others. Try quantizing some but not all of your parts, which will help keep the natural flow of your performances. Now that I'm happy with the drum part, I've copied it along the timeline for 16 bars and I can move on to making the next part of my composition. In this case, a bass line. I used an analogue synth to do this, which also serves to demonstrate recording via the audio interface and into the door. I recorded the MIDI notes onto the timeline that made a new audio track which frees me up to manipulate the sound of the bass line in real time as it's being recorded. This allows a more expressive and improvised performance. Now that we have several instruments and parts arranged along the timeline, 
I'll talk about and demonstrate the use of effects and balancing the mix between them in the next video. And remember, a DAW is a tool, a very powerful tool, to help realise your song and instrumental ideas. And don't be afraid to make a mistake. Be bold, fine tune your ideas until every part makes sense and has a purpose for being there. Bye for now.